trying to connect. Okay, now it's connected. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Got my head in the way. Uh, <clears throat> welcome to Pinky Mall Sisters in the Kitchen. So, um, on the recipe for our members, I use two different methods for cooking the pork chops. Um, we are just going to do the pan skillet and finish baking them in the oven today because we want to sit over there and we got some things to do at the counter and we want to talk and we can't do that if we're over here constantly watching this. So y'all, um, the members, our members, y'all follow the recipe. You can do it either way you want to, but we're going to do it this way. Uh, just, just because we need to have some other things going on besides just standing here at the skillet. So I've got my skillet preheated. And Mary, you can show them the pork chops if you want. We have three nice sized pork chops here. And I've got the fourth one over here too, Mary. Oh, we're doing four more. Yeah, I had, okay. I had already okay. seasoned it. And I'll okay. let you season this. Okay. We're using this uh, carnita seasoning. And in the recipe, I did put um, um, that you could use garlic and other seasonings. This has that in it. So I'm just using this. Um, this is a pampered chef item. And we're just going to salt and pepper them on both sides. And this one here is already seasoned. You can tell. And these are, these are pretty thick, but they're not an inch. I think the recipe said three-fourths to an inch pork chops. You don't want thin pork chops. You want some that got some consistency to them. And we're going to brown them. And brown them on both sides. We're not dredging them in flour because we're fixing a corn fiesta to go on top of this, and I don't want breading on it. So, um, let me turn my burner down. Now, do you want this, um, what is this, corn? Carnitas? Carnitas, yeah. you want this on both sides? Yeah, on both sides. Now, is this about right? Yeah, that's good. And if they don't have the corn, corn carnitas, they carnitas. can use garlic, you can use, um, uh, you could use red chili peppers, uh, cayenne, any kind of uh, something that would give it a little bit of kick that goes good with pork. You could use okay, I'm going to wash my hands now. So Mary's got them seasoned real good here. And I'm going to uh, put these in here. And um, it's kind of hard to find a good uh, package of pork chops there, Mary. Do you have a hard time finding them? I haven't bought pork chops lately because I've got so much in my freezer. So I, I really haven't bought any lately. My, Why, you having problems buying it? Well, my boss thinks he said it was the only package in the case. Yeah. Huh. Yep, the huh. only package. Huh. I'm going to put this in. Okay. Um, so, thank y'all. We want to thank y'all to everyone that hung with us and stayed with us and was patient with us. Y'all know I wasn't very patient, especially at the end. Uh, while we were getting Mama's books, but um, we appreciate it so much. We do have them on the website. Uh, they are for order, and we'll be showing you. Um, I don't know. You, you may want to show them while, I, while I'm getting what? these pork chops around the book over there. Okay. Um, well, um, that's we'll up to move you if you want to move it. Okay. We'll just wait. To, um, okay. Because um, I've, got, I've got a little bit of chicken broth here. This is low sodium, and I use this just in case to put on there so they don't get too dry. I've got the oven preheated at 375, and we're going to bake them while we're getting the corn and the stuff ready over there. And you're just browning them now, I'm right? just browning them. I'm actually turning the fire up a little bit. Okay. Turning and around. you got your pan ready? I got the pan ready. It's just a baking sheet. I've got it double lined with foil, and um, after we get them brown, we'll stick them in the oven and cook them for about uh, 30 minutes and uh, while we're getting this other ready. So with our corn fiesta, we're going to actually put this on top of the pork chop. Have you ever put orange juice in mm -hmm. when you were cutting this off? Mm -hmm. um, you can use any kind of citrus, but I'm going to use orange juice today. I'm going to... Um, in the corn? Yeah, kind of. It's like a little... Yeah, not, not sauce, but just for a little extra flavor. And we're going to char a, a poblano pepper, and we got some jalapenos chopped, some red bell peppers chopped, and some onion chopped, and that's going to go in with the corn. And we're using fresh corn, and it really does make a difference. Oh, I imagine. I plan to get it at Sam's, but 
Y'all, our week has been crazy. <laughs> yes, it, it has been so crazy. So um, everything that we thought was going to happen didn't, at least at the time frame we thought it was going to happen. I'm a planner. I like time frames. I like I like something done exactly on time. And so, you know, that you know drives me a little nuts when that doesn't happen. And that's the reason that we're not, we, had, we didn't cook at my house this week because of the books. And I've been over here three days this week. Three days in a row. I know you've been a ton of gas coming over here. Plus Chuck's been over here. Yeah, he's been twice. Now, I didn't quite get those brown enough, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure it's got a good brown sear on them. And I didn't use the grill pan because I'm going to use the grill pan for the corn and the peppers and everything. Oh, so you, you use the grill pan for, for the peppers? The, the grill pan, pan yeah. I'm going to use it okay. for the other. Okay. So I just need to turn this up a little bit. In okay. fact, you know, let me get that lid. That might help um, get the brown a little bit faster. It won't. It won't? Oh, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll steam them. It'll steam them. You're right. It will. It will. They'll just stay light. Put that on there, I believe. I mean, that's my, that's my opinion. I, you, you do things different, so. But I think it'll brown quicker. Okay, well, I've got this on a lot higher than I need to put something on, but I want these to get brown so we can get them in the oven. So, um, we, um, I guess we're going to start stuffing envelopes today. I checked the stuff. Start, start, start is filling in out today. Yes. So probably are they going out tomorrow? The first shipment will probably yeah. go out tomorrow. Yeah. And I don't have one of the pink envelopes. I don't think I have one of them available. I'll have to go get it. But it's when you, when you, pink. Yeah. When you get a pink envelope, you know it's Mother's book. <laughs> and we wanted to do that because uh, Mother loved pinks and. Um, and she was very purple, pink, yeah. yeah. And lavender, and of course our Pinky Ma's name too. Wow. So, um, and little Linda is not with us today. She yeah. had an appointment that she had to go to, and she tried to get out of. It. <laughs> she sure did. She called me. I said, I left the house. She said, Mother, I'm just going to go ahead and and and, and go with you. Because she said that's my job, and I need to do. I need to work the camera. I said, You need to go to the doctor. You need to keep that appointment because. Um, uh, it's hard to get an appointment, so um, she um, she said, "All right, I guess I'll go." And she called me too. She, yeah, she really did did hate to miss it, but she needed to she needed this appointment. So, um, is, uh, did you talk to Carla this morning? I did. I okay, did. she's having so, a good morning. Hey, she's, Carla. She's mm -hmm. monitoring us. <laughs> She got to take her grandbaby, I know, little Kenley, to church last night. That just thrilled her to death. That was her first time to first church. First time to be in church. Yeah. And her, she's so particular about COVID, but it's kind of let up some, so she let her go. Everybody that knows Carla knows that her grandbabies she has been to church just about since they were born. Just yeah. about. She had a separate vehicle, a big cargo van, a pastor with lots of seats so she could take all her grandkids to church. And let me tell you, she has had a van full a few times, taking them to vacation Bible school and Sunday school, and she wants those kids to be in church. And they, and that's very important. They, they, all, they all know what church is. Right. I remember when Ethan was a toddler, maybe two, two years old, and... She took him on a prayer walk around the church. They were doing a prayer walk that night, and she's holding Ethan's hand. She's yeah. taking him around yeah. there. It's, it's fun to see the little kids. Well, it's important for kids. You know, I, you know, I know some adults that never heard a, a been to Sunday school or heard a, a, a Bible story, a little kid's Bible story. And, it, you know, it, it's amazing to us because we were raised in church, but there are kids out there that never get to attend Sunday school. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, uh, and I think it's important that very kids important. go to Sunday school and learn important. about the Lord and, and know that when they get in situations that they can call upon the Lord. Absolutely. So, um... We are <laughs> we're excited about ladies' conference. Yes. We're going to be there. And I, I, I think, guess a couple weeks, right? I think Karen, the lady, uh, the our cousin, that um, 
kept with, with Mama's book. Uh, she's planning on, she's making plans to be there at Ladies' Conference. I'm so glad she's going to be there. She's in Arkansas, so it's totally out of her. Yeah. Good little, exactly. good little way for her exactly. to come. But, exactly. but she was... She was also raised in, that, in, uh, in East Texas, clearly. Yeah, she so she, she feels at home, and a lot of her relatives are, are in East Texas, so she feels at home in the uh, Texas district. Um, so these are, well, I probably would get them a little bit browner, but we're fixing to take these out and put them in here. One side of the skillet tends to get a little browner. Does, does yours yeah, do that? I, it does, I don't know why. I don't know if it's right where the, the, the you know, the, the coals are or what. I'm totally making a mess. My stove's going to have to be cleaned. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's what grease does. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you got one of those flatter screens? You do? I you do see? have one of them, and I should have got it out and put it on there, and I didn't. Let me get those pictures in here. Yeah, when I fry things, that's what happens. But I do have the flatter screen, but I'm like you. Sometimes you forget to to get the little things like that that doesn't involve actual cooking. This is chicken broth, and I'm going to pour this in here, and I'm going to pour this over okay. this to bake to keep it moist and give it some more flavor too. This one didn't get didn't get real brown, but that's all right. I'm going to put it in here anyway. If you can straighten those up there. Yeah, I'm not helping you. No, I think you got them. Fit. Okay, well, we're fixing to get over there where we can both be working okay. and hopefully can see a little bit better. That's, that's good stuff there. You don't want to lose that. And this just keeps it moist. Let me yeah, get the camera out my a little, head. A little bit closer so they can see. I'm trying to man this camera. So that's, um, now it does have some, some oil in it. Yes, it does. But um, it's not much. It's not, um, you know, it's got a lot of flavor in it. Yeah. So we're we ready to sit down now? Yeah, you can take the camera over there. I'm just going to wipe this up a second here. And I clean it more later, but at least I'll get some of it off. Okay. We're going to put All right. this in the oven. I think I've got it down. Okay. <laughs> I think I got it down where we, we can cover all the area. Thank you, Mary. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, yes, we're excited about Mother's Book. You know, yesterday, whenever um, we first got them, um, I was telling Linda this morning, it was so overwhelming to me because it was like, you know, we had just waited for that moment for so long until I was, I was, I was afraid to open my mouth and say something because I was afraid I was going to cry. And so I just didn't know what to say. I was just like, I was lost. I didn't know what to say, but I just wanted to hold the book close to me because uh, it means a lot. It was, um, I'm very seldom ever at a loss of words. And I couldn't talk either, Mary, because I was just like you. And we had not communicated this to each other. Do I need, does it need to be open uh, a little bit? Let me see. But I knew when I opened my mouth, I was going to be bawling. I knew I was. And that was another reason why I didn't say nothing. I said, I know if I crack up and, and, uh, and my voice gets uh, uh, quivery that it's going to set Linda off. So I was trying my best to refrain. But it just all got up this morning and all the emotions just hit me. I just um, I just had to let it all out. <laughs> because, you know, when we started this uh, videos, that was one of the main things that I was wanting done was to get Mother's Book out. And, you know, whenever I... Um, we started this, that was my goal, but my actual goal was to tell the story on our own live, you know, and then um, the more we talked about it and, and all you uh, friends out there said how we needed to print the book, we, we always wanted to, but we just never seen that it was, it would be possible, and once we, uh, once we decided to do it, um, 
it did take us a year to get it done, but um, I'm just so overwhelmed and thankful that we did get it done, and I know Mother would be very proud. She, she, she would be say. very happy. Okay, so normally if you were doing cream corn, I would scrape this off. I'm not going to scrape this off here because okay. I, I don't want it to be creamy. I want it to be uh, okay. kernels, yes. like whole kernel yes. corn. Yes. So, um... You want me to do something? Here? If you want, if you want to do some, I don't want you. What do you want me to do? Oh. Um, oh. Oh. Okay. And we'll we'll cut that. Oh, let me get my. my <laughs> I'm gonna rearrange my kitchen. I don't have room to even maneuver. I'm gonna have to stand yeah. up to do this. I'm too short to. So. Um, I'm gonna put this in the bowl here. I'm not dig digging down deep. Do you want me to? I'm not going deep. I don't want, um, you can go a little deeper than you okay. would if you were uh, doing cream corn because we go around twice on it. I know. Um, I want it to be kernels and not, you know. Yeah. Not, not all the juice. Yeah. And the corn, the, the uh, I think it's cornstarch. Isn't it starch? Yeah. The cornstarch. It's really good. It's good, good stuff. Better. This is a messy job, y'all. Yeah, if you've is. never cut off corn in the corn uh, on cob in the summer, it splatters on your face, on your glasses, it gets all over your clothes. And when we used to do this as a kid, we done it outside. Remember yeah, how we did. at Molly's we'd all gather around the tree and um, and do this uh we have big old dish pans. That's I mean because we have they had a lot of corn to do. Bushels and bushels yeah, of corn. Exactly. Of course, our counter is clean, y'all. Yep. Okay. So you can buy this, something like this in a can. Fresh is always better. Yeah. And, um, Mary, you can show them how to cut that, uh, you can cut that other oh, okay. piece of bell pepper there, and I'll finish this one. If you don't right. Linda's already washed and uh, got all the seeds out of the bell pepper, and we've got them all chopped, but that one, but we're using the slicer, and so we are. That's real quick, real quick. We done what, one, two, three, four, five, six slices at one time, where we always just slice one at a time. Well, that was, uh, now where do you want these bell peppers, in the uh, corn? I don't. I want you oh, to put right. it in that bag right there. I've already, already got it chopped. What I want, I just wanted to show them. How so, we Linda, did it. how many bell peppers? Is this that's just one? One. It's, one a, it's a nice one, though. Okay. It's a nice it's one. A, it's a nice one. Okay. All right. Now, uh, so you've already got these chopped up. Yeah, Are you gonna you chop just, these like that? I uh, I am, but I don't need those. I, okay. That was a very big bell pepper. So I think that's all I so need. So about a hack is what they need for this recipe? Um, or it depends on the size of the bell pepper. This was a really okay. big one. Okay. So she didn't just slice them. She diced them after she sliced them. Yeah, it's not It's not like you put in green beans where you want the julienne strips. Yeah. I want it to be chopped. Okay. Like you bought that in a can, in a can before, right? Yes, where it yes. has the little bit. It's called Mexican corn. Yeah, where it had the little uh, things on it. Now, is this green bell pepper? That's jalapeno. Oh, oh I already knew. <laughs> but it's seeded and <laughs> deveined, okay. so it's, yeah. it's not going to be real and hot. And this is minced onions. So that's what we're putting in there. The uh, red bell pepper, diced, and jalapenos, and minced onion. So, now what else you got to put in there? Um, I'm not going to use this orange juice until right at the end, okay. but I'm going to go ahead and squeeze it and get everything ready. We got our corn ready. That is an orange orange, isn't it? Yeah, it's almost More looks like a, a yellow, blood orange. It does. That's what that um, looks like. This is uh, probably about two cups of corn. Okay. I thought I got all the silks out, but it looks like there may be one and in there. there. What is this? That's a poblano pepper. We don't normally use those. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, don't know if you, if you I do, but I don't I normally don't. use them. I but don't. I wanted a little bit of extra in here. Okay. So, uh, I'm so what you to, need me to do? I'm going to move this and just... Uh, just are we taking this over to the... Are you ready to go over to the skillet? Um, I, in, in a minute, I okay. am. I want right. to get the orange okay. juice squeezed first. Okay, here. all right. 
Well, I'm just going to sit down then and, and wait. Uh, when we're at Linda's house, she's kind of over the instructions and what to do, so we just I just kind of follow her lead. <laughs> and the same way whenever she's at my yeah. house, she you follows kinda, my lead. You kind of feel lost because you're, yeah. the other one's doing more, but that's just how it works. That's okay. It works best for us because um, she knows what she's doing and knows what to do next. And same way whenever I, I have a recipe up. Linda has some good recipes. So, oh, you do too, Mary. So, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to start heating this grill pan. Okay. Because I want it hot. Did you time the oven for the pork chops? Did I put? I didn't. I did not. Okay. So let me okay. set. So they've probably been in there the at least five or six minutes. Yes, they probably. have. So. Um, I hope that y'all can see Mama's book. We got it displayed over here behind yeah. us. And um, we've had so many people make suggestions. Go ahead, Mary. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna just bring the book closer. It's easy for me to bring the book over here than it is for um, uh, for me. Uh, this is our book for the ones that have not seen it. This is the covers. Mama's story of love and hope. Hazel Lee. Pinkston, and that's a picture of all of us children. Uh, that's Mother and uh, Charles Edward Linda and myself. So, um, and then the back cover has got Pinky Moss on it and a picture of Linda and I, and that's a recent picture of us. But we have lots of pictures, colored pictures in here of um, uh, our family. There's one of Linda and I. That was, uh, I think that was my senior year. It might not have been my senior year. I know I, I took a senior picture with that, with that, but I don't think that that's uh, actually was my senior year. Uh, I'm squeezing this, this arm okay. shoes. I cut both of them. I didn't know if it would take them both or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze both of them. I won't show you the rest of them. That's some of the pictures that's in the book. And I have a electric squeezer, but I didn't get it out because I'm only squeezing these two. To order one of Mother's books, you go to our website, which is www.pinkymallskitchen.com, and scroll down, and you'll see uh, products, and click on products, and it will take you to our cookbook and our our mother's story and our aprons. That uh, mother's book is $20 plus the shipping and handling is $5 and then it's whatever tax is in your area. And um, so it's it's somewhere between $26 and $27 total, total if you have tax in your area. And the computer figures. The computer figures, figures the tax. That's why we can't tell you for sure because um, when you order the computer the does the calculating of the taxes because it's set up that way for if you have tax in your area, it will add tax. And if you don't have tax in your area, then it doesn't. So that's the way it's set up. So. Okay. But I'm just, I, I'll tell you, I am, I'm excited. Our book is out and, and today's Thursday. <laughs> I'll tell you what, by the time Thursday gets here, uh, we put a full weekend, and so, of course, it doesn't stop. We still have things to do, but it's not like, you know, that we have to uh, to do the same thing. We don't travel. We're not traveling. Especially this week, because she's had to drive over I drove three over 350 miles this week, besides videoing and everything. And it's so. hard, you know, because you've got you to get up an hour earlier to get over here, or... or Actually, it takes about an hour and 15 minutes. It takes at least an hour and 15 to, um, minutes. And, uh, so I've, I've been, uh, I'm, I'm kind of tired. Just traveling makes you tired. I don't care if it's not but 110, 10, 15 miles a day. It just kind of makes you tired. So, so what can we're I going do, to Linda? move over here, oh, Mary. Okay. Yes, I'll and, move um, over there. I'm going to get my... Um, Pepper started first. Okay. Just want to get this charred. You know, I seen the other day. I was 
uh, I do watch some of the other cooking shows, and I seen this person said she had 11 employees. <laughs> and I said, a oh, cooking my, show had yeah. 11 employees? And oh, I said, goodness. oh my goodness. I said, uh, we, well, might need, sure we, might need, we might need another employee, but we can't get one right now, another one right now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna get this pepper smoking. You know they had two of these. Is that had one? Now, what do you call that thing? It's again? a poplano. Oh, okay. It's a mild pepper. So you just gonna cook it whole? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna roast it. it. Yeah, like okay. roast it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna take it off and let it cool, and then I'm gonna put the onions and pepper and in there. And I can char it. What do you do? You chop, chop it up? It. Yeah. Okay. It is. Nothing like getting off the plane in Albuquerque. Now these aren't these aren't uh, the kind of peppers that smell, they roast, yes. but smelling those peppers. You can smell it in it. As soon as you land and you're in the airport, you can smell it because everybody roasts yeah. peppers in the fall. I want this to be hot when I put this in there. Yeah. It takes a little while for these pans to get hot, but once they get hot, they're hot. They're hot. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's not hot. <laughs> nope. It's not. So, um, I hope you, I didn't move you over here too quick. That's I should have. Okay. Well, you just turn around and, and talk to them on the camera. It's kind of hard to get both of us in there, but I'll just, I'll, you go ahead and get the camera because you're the one that's usually. Well, I'm, I'm waiting on this oil to heat, but um, I'm going to turn it up, see if I can get it hotter. Uh, so, what do we got planned next week, Mary? Well, I'm cooking at my house twice next week. Um, I've got to get my taxes to the office, to the yeah, CPA. Yeah, that's that's something that we got to um, work on. I got to get that done and um, um, and try to get um, get all of our um, Mama's books out. Our our cookbook should be back in inventory next week. I'm hoping that we get them. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot them an email today to see about when they'll be ready. And um, hopefully we'll get them next week. Now they're shipped different than Mama's yeah. books were. Yeah. Um, so we know when we get the notice that we'll have them within two days, yeah. unless there's a weather delay. Uh, yeah. Because they come by UPS. It's still not really hot, is it? It should. It should, you should know it when it gets, I, I mean, the, when it hits yeah, the skillet. it should start. It'll, it'll, it'll sizzle, whatever, whenever, when that pan is hot enough. Uh, so, um, Carl's back home. Yes. She made it back home to Wichita Falls. She's come, she went home Tuesday, and um, she's coming back in 10 days, so whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know where it's going to be because she's coming back for ladies' right. uh, conference. Yeah. Yes. I'm getting excited about that. The ladies, we were talking last night after church uh, about who I was going. And I think everyone, we have a small church. And I think all the ladies are, are going to the ladies' conference except for the ones with little children. Okay. I think, I think, I think, I think pretty near everyone is going. It's going to start popping. Yeah. I hope I didn't put too much oil in here. I'm going to have to turn this down a minute. So there'll be a lot of people there. There'll yeah. be a lot of people there that we only see yeah. uh, once a year. I'm going to have to go to a, I'm going to have to have a meeting with the ladies before then, though, and to let everybody know, um, uh, about transportation wise because normally um, I take a group in my car but I'm sorry but this year I'm got uh, I've got to be down there earlier because of us having a booth I got to get there earlier so the ladies are going to have to um, group together and and get their own transportation this year it kind of makes me you know feel like I'm leaving them behind but I'm not they they're very capable of a uh, getting there without me, but I guess it's just because I've done that for so long. That's popping. It might have a little water on it, you think, maybe? It could have, have Mary. It. it certainly could have had some water on it. I'm going to put that on it and see if that will help it. It's not flat, so it's not going to char evenly, so I may have well, what to would it, it. What would have done if you'd have slapped it on there? Yeah. 
slice it before you charge it. With well, that, with that I could have done that. They normally do them whole, and I'm not no expert on this, y'all. So I'm sure there's a lot of our friends and viewers that's going to know a lot more about this than me. I don't. I don't I've know. I've seen them done, but I don't um, know how to do it. Um, See, well, that looks good. It's yeah. getting charred. It's yeah. just the way it's. Yeah. They're kind of odd shaped. Yeah. So it's smoking though. So it's it's doing its little job. Yeah. And I'm going to take some of that oil out before I put my oh, onions yes, and peppers in there. Mm -hmm. I don't want this greasy, greasy. Yeah. But I thought that it needed some oil to help it get started. <laughs> hey, hey, that's what we do. You cook and you, you know, you It's going to be thing. good no matter how it turns out. You try one thing, that don't work, you try something else. We don't, uh, we don't claim to be professional. No, we don't. We just cook the way we used to cook them. I will. Let me show it to them. How oh, can they see it? Now, like I said, I know that a lot of my, uh, our Hispanic friends on here are going to, uh, Spanish friends are going to tell us <laughs> that there's another way to do this. But Well, you know what? We, uh, hey, let them tell us. We let, So we'll know next time. Right. You okay. know, we'll be, we'll... Uh, We'll take your suggestions and your and uh, your advice on what to do. Okay, so maybe this will work a little bit better. So you're gonna do it, all, okay. it a little. Okay. I think I still need to cut it. Okay. So you don't have it charred as much as you want to. No, I don't. Okay. It gives it that flavor when you yeah. char it. Yeah. That's not that habit. Habanero. No, is. no, this is a mild pepper. Oh, okay. It's not a hot pepper. Okay. Because I'll tell you what, that habanero. <laughs> is that how you say it? Habanero. Yeah. Um, it is hot. hot. Yeah, it is. And I've eaten them before, but it is hot. I can't eat stuff quite as hot as I used to in my younger years. It's something about, I think, when you get old, your windpipe closes up or something. <laughs> Do you think it does? It might, because I sure have a, I have a hard time swallowing sometimes. Now, this is really neat to pick up with when you're using the skillet, but if you leave it on there very long, it gets hot, and this has already gotten hot. So oh, really? I didn't know that. Yes. Because you're getting the heat from yeah. that. Yeah. It's just meant to lift it, not right. to, not okay. to leave it on there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to paper towel some of this oil out of here because I don't want quite as much in it to do the onions and the peppers. And I'm going to go ahead and add the onions and the peppers. Okay, that, that, I think that would work. Here, so, I'll get them yeah, thank you. You can tell it's getting. Yeah, I should have I should have done that before I started this Mary's went ahead and cut them. I, well, I didn't know if it had to be or not. That's why they I normally roast them whole. Okay. I think they do. Y'all okay. correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. But, um, and we read y'all's comments. Y'all, uh, there's been several times that people have given us given us uh, their suggestions right. or and whatever in a way to put something. Them. We accept it. We accept it. We're not, you know, we're not going to know it all by any means. Right. There's people out there, some of y'all know how to cook some of the things we cook and in a better way or, or a different way, and we, we don't mind your suggestions. We'll take them. Look what you need now. I'm going to get another pot holder. Oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not going to take any chances of getting another boo-boo today. <laughs> well, no, we don't want you doing that. <laughs> When I get these out, Mary, uh -huh. I'm going to let you, oh, I already put that chopper in there. I'm going to let you chop these. Oh, okay. Or you can chop I'll them. Chop it. Um, um, I'll chop Just, yeah, just rinse it off if you don't mind. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have put it in there. That's okay. So I'm just kind of moving this, um, Pepper and bell pepper and onions around because I want to get, you know, I want it to get. I don't care if it's a little crunchy, but I don't want it raw. Okay. Okay. 
I'm, I'm not really, um, what do you call it, a stir-fry person. I like, yeah. I, I like my stuff cooked a little more than stir-fry, but um, I don't mind the crunch to them. I just don't want them real crunchy. I don't like my onions crunchy. Yeah, onions. I just, onions absolutely need to be cooked a little bit more. I'm going to leave that orange juice there for the time being, Mary. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, you don't want to get a piece of a raw onion in your mouth. No, not me. Okay. I got the chopper ready. Okay, so um, where do you have a chopper? Probably just paper plate? yeah, just get a, a paper plate here. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I can chop it on the same. Okay, plate. that's fine. Now, see, I got my oil out. Now I need it, so oh. I have to. I think I'll go ahead and take these out. Okay. So even there. even if it's a little bit of the other stuff in it, it's not going to matter. Okay. I'm not. Gonna now, are you ready to put your corn in there now? I'm going to cook these just a, just oh, okay. a tad longer. Okay, so I'm going to chop the peppers then. Okay, I don't think they cooked quite enough, Mary. Oh, okay. It smells good. use your own judgment about the oil. You say two or three tablespoons in a recipe. Sometimes you use less, sometimes you use more. Yeah. So if there's ever a recipe that we put on there and it says a fourth a cup of salt, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, if you want more salt, well then, you know, we don't have to be the exact do it, do it to your taste. This is smelling good. And I think what we're going to do, Mary, we've already got two more. Uh -huh. I think what we're going to do when we get this corn done, uh -huh. is we're going to plate a pork chop. Okay. And uh, that way, if we don't get those others. If we don't. The girls, the girls will tell us don't get away from the camera. And that's just what we both did. Or <laughs> I did. Mary was getting it. I got away from it too. So, sorry about that. Now, you know, if you wanted to add something to go with this, besides the protein, you could, um, you could ha add another vegetable. Um, uh, those, that's, that's probably that good enough. enough. Yeah. Some of the pieces are going bigger than that. That's okay. Pieces. I don't mind if they're chunky. Okay. Um, so you could add another green vegetable. You I could chopped add those salad. peppers she just done. Thank you, Mary. Oh, those smell good. Mm -hmm. So this is just a little bit different than the uh, Mexican corn that you buy in the store. It's actually got a little more in yeah. it. And I think it'll taste a little bit better. So we're going to, we're just going to move this around in the skillet a little bit more. And... Um, it sure is pretty. It's breath pretty, isn't it? Uh -huh. I'll let you stand there and stir that, Mary, if you don't okay. mind. I'm going to get these pork chops out of here. They're not hot. You got this on medium heat. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I do. Okay. And you don't cook corn long. No, you don't. So I'm and you, I didn't, I didn't learn that till I was pretty good size. Pretty good, I mean, pretty up in age. That the, the longer you cook corn, the tougher it gets. Yeah. So you think those are those I look do, like they've been yes, cooked enough? I do. So we're going to add the corn to it. Now, do you add salt and pepper to that? I'm after going to add just a little bit after it's cooked. Yeah. Salt is probably the only thing that I do not want a lot of salt on. Yeah. That I corn. Eat. Yes. Because I love that sweet taste. Yeah, yeah. And um, you could put, uh, put, put a little bit of salt in it, but 
but I think I'm, I'm going to keep it in there. Cause, okay, I think I'm going to wait until it Yeah, after it's done. There's a little bit of corn a bit more. Uh, I'm not corn, a silk. <laughs> Little bit of silk off of one of those. Did you get it out? I did. Thank I you. thought I seen another yeah, one. Yeah, there it is, right there. This one. There's one. And that's easy to do. Yeah, it, it is. those silks. And I may not use all this orange juice. This is two oranges, and I think the recipe I said one. Okay. But I wasn't sure um, how much juice these oranges would have, so I just went ahead and cut both of them. That's so pretty, Linda. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. I'm going to add just a little bit to this. And if you think it needs some more, we can add some more, Mary. Well, I've never, never put orange juice in my corn, so I'm not. I'm going to let you be the judge of that. I'm sure it'll be, uh, it'll be good, and you, you know, <laughs> leave it to Mary. <laughs> it's, um... I think it's just going to give another little Just flavor. a little bit of a, a yeah. different taste. I I'm sure. To, I wanted it to kind of reduce in it, so yeah. we, may put, we may put the rest of this in there. I'm going to okay. taste of it in a minute. Well, I'm going to let you get judged because I trust you. It's not, you don't have them very high, so. No. Mmm. Is it just right? It, it does need some salt. Don't have no salt, yeah. Yeah. You, you get the you sweet want taste to, it. You want a little bit more of that cooked in it? Okay. I do because I want it to reduce down just a okay. pinch. Okay. I probably wind up adding it all, but anyway. I don't you want, want that. You want that flavor to get in the yes, corn. Yes, I do. And it has to be enough in it to, for it to steam. Another silk. Yeah. I'm going to turn it up just a pinch. I want it to be, what my goal is when we put it on the pork chop, I want uh -huh. it to have a little tiny bit of juice on uh -huh. it. Just a little bit. Is anybody asking questions? Well, I was looking to see. Somebody must have been asking if you have to join to watch our videos. And thank you, Lynn, for telling them no. You don't have to join anything to see to watch our videos. If somebody's asking you to join and they say they're Pinky Mall's uh, cookies um, uh, and cakes, cookies, and candy, then you're on the wrong side. We don't ask you to join anything to watch our videos. The only thing that you're joining at all is that membership for the recipes. You do not join to watch our recipes, I, I watch our videos. They're free. And yes, Lynn, if you, if you would go to our website, PinkyMouseKitchen.com, uh, Pinky, Pinky and go to the bottom of the page and click on that F, which, which is represent for, Pinky, uh, for Facebook, it would take you to the correct site. What did you put in the peppers? Um, the only thing in the, uh, the peppers, is, it's just bell pepper and... Um, Jalapeno peppers and onions, and then what's that other pepper's name? Poblano. Linda? Poblano. Okay, that's that's all that's in the in the corn. Oh, the uh, she put some orange juice, just a little bit of squeezed orange juice. <laughs> she said, "Don't worry about the silks." <laughs> it, yeah, it's okay if they're in there. It's just uh. Uh, okay. I'm sure that anybody's every coin is probably used a silk or two. Uh, and uh, um, signing of mother's books, we had not planned on signing them because we got too many and our arthritis. I think what we're going to do is because we're going to do some meet and greets this year. And I think that's when we will sign the cookbooks. If that's about the only, if person. it's live. Yeah. At the meet and greets live, uh, we will sign. But we're, um, it's just, uh, I think we're going to, I think it's going to be too many books going out for us to sign all of them. Mary, we started yes. out trying to sign the cookbooks. I know. And um, we did when we first got them. Yeah. Logistics, because we live apart, we have to physically be, be in together. the same place together to sign the books. 
Um, and it, we would love to sign every one of it them. It would hinder us getting them out. Is what it, it would take us longer to get them in the mail if uh, if we both signed them. Because even if Linda, even if you sat here and signed all the books that you got, and then bring them to, or then when I come, I'd have to sign them, and vice versa. When you come, and it would delay us getting the books out. Yeah, it would. Okay, I'm going to just put that on low, Mary. Okay. Sure, that smells good, Linda. Mm-hmm. Smells delicious. There, I'm gonna. She's scraping those. And cogs. you really should use the back of the knife, but I'm using the front of it. That's getting that good starch out of that. That'll yeah. thicken up that corn. Yeah, it will. I think I already scraped. Looks that good. It's not going to be much, but it's mm -hmm. going to be a little bit. Okay, let me see if there's any more questions. It just grieved my soul to leave this here. <laughs> I can't throw that away without scraping it. Okay. We love some pork chops, too, uh, Teresa Holland. Uh, Mary, we have two people today that are having surgery. Um, Linda is one of them. Her yeah. first name is Linda. And then the other one is Dolores. And it's her husband that's having surgery. So we'd like to ask for prayers for okay. our friends. Well, uh, I can tell you, I got a text this morning at 2.30 a.m. From Linda? From Judy. Oh, from, from Judy. Her brother passed away. Judy. And, uh, I can't remember her name. I wrote The it twins? Down. Not the twins. No, not the twins. Um, her brother um, had was in had lots of health problems. Lots of health problems. He had. Uh, she's been texting for a while now, um, and he had uh, uh, his lungs. He just had just lot of cancer. He just had lots of health problems, and she uh, she texted me that that he passed away this morning. So we I'll be having Judy in my prayers. Absolutely. It's always sad to hear of someone and she that... told me to tell you too, Linda. I forgot to tell you that uh, Judy and I'll have her last name I'll have to, I wrote it down. I try to write down the names that ask us for prayer um, because I forget so easily. Yeah, I I, and, um, I try to pray for them right then. I, my prayer well, is at night time, my prayer right. time. But, um, so I don't forget. I try to do it right then, but sometimes you can't I always forget. stop what you're doing yes. and pray. Yes, um, and um, the Lord knows. He knows your request, and He knows our heart. So we just pray and ask the Lord to to help in all your situations that, you, that has a request. Um, and then, then if, if I if I don't forget to write your name down, I will I will call it again. But I, when, the minute you request prayer, is like Linda said, that's usually when I ask the Lord to help the situation right then. So I don't forget. So, okay, I'm gonna put this Are up. we sitting down from your book reveal? For our book reveal, um, we've our. Um, I'm not sure if um, how we're going to do that. We've already showed the, shown the book, and um, uh, I know we'll be at the ladies' conference in Lufkin. Uh, I don't know when our next meet and greet. I think our do our our uh, cousin in Lufkin it has a. Um, what do you call it? It's a like a business, a small business. She has a small business in um, Lufkin, like and an antique mall or something. Antique mall, and we plan on being there for a meet and greet, but that's going to be um, later on. Later on, April or May. Ooh, that looks so good, Linda. Thank you. And uh, we'll. Uh, that's when we'll sign the books at meet and greets live. So what we're doing here is we're, these are the pork chops that I cooked earlier this morning. Yeah. I'm just going to, so we can taste okay. this. Okay. Um, and um, put a little bit of corn 
Now, I didn't taste this after I salted it, Mary. Well, it's okay. It's okay. I'm sure it's fine. You're, you're good. That looks so pretty. That looks good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to move over here okay. and taste it. Get a knife out here. That pork chop is so tender. I don't think you're gonna need much. Might not need the knife. Help you. <laughs> you is that the one you want? Well, well that's, if I yes, touch that, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't guess I touched the blade. It didn't feel like it. Okay, let me get this camera moved. Okay. So. I'm just doing a, a little bit of everything this morning, except for cooking. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. Okay. Let me get try to see if I can get that down where you can see it. That's a baked pork chop with that corn. What do you call it? Corn melon? Corn fiesta. Melon fiesta. fiesta. Corn okay. fiesta. And we're going to taste it and see what we think. Jesus. I, mean, I don't know if it's seasoned really well, perfectly or not, but we're fixing okay. to find out. Sure looks good, I know that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's delicious. You like it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've got me off too big of a piece. <laughs> me too. It's delicious. And that corn is really good. I wanted it to have just a little bit more juice in it. I'm probably going to add a little bit. Sorry. The juice should kind of run over the side. But that orange juice kind of wakes up. You know, any kind of mm -hmm. citrus just kind of perks up flavors. It's good. I don't know if I would want juice. You don't think you want any more? I wouldn't. I, on the juice, I mm -hmm. wouldn't. I would want just the, like that. the corn like it is. But I mean, that's everybody's preference. But I, I don't think I would want it. So this would be it's a good. nice kind of a, kind of a, it's not a fancy meal. I don't cook fancy. I but it either. would be something different. It looks, it, it's beautiful um, and tastes is delicious. Than your regular, just a pork chop, right. rice and gravy or right. potatoes or something like this. It's just something different. So, um, what time is it? Uh, we just okay. about been on an hour. Um, so, did you want to? I'm going to set this aside. I didn't okay. mean to take it away from you, but I'm no, gonna, I, no, I'm through. I'm going to give my I took a big bite. It was quick. delicious. You go. And um, if we have time, do you think you want to uh, read just a tiny bit? Have you picked out a? a... I, I know what I'm going to read. Okay, okay. Well, you can, I, and then I'll do one another time because I have a. I read some of the book last night. Of course, I've done read it. But I went. I wanted to read it with the book in the book form in my hand, and uh, I did read some last night. But um, um, I I just was too. Well, tired. do you want to wait? No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Um, it's fine. So um, here, wash my hands. I'll give you one to hold too, Mary. You get one of those over there. This picture that's on front, we have very few pictures of our family, um, especially some uh, pictures of us when we were kids because our house burnt and burned all of our pictures up. But we didn't take pictures back then like they did today. We no. took them at Easter and, and Christmas. Christmas and, and not even a lot, just yeah. a few. Because well, you had to develop film and that cost that money. Was, that was the problem. I've always taken pictures, but I hardly ever had the money to develop them. I wish to, I got a sack full of old film that I took when my kids was little that's never been developed. Do you reckon anybody would develop them? I've 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 tried to do some and they just didn't and they just didn't work out. But there is some people because that's what they told me when I had those developed, that there is a place that I could send them off to. It's quite expensive. Uh, it but probably it is. It would be worth it, but I just hadn't done it. Um, Mary, we've had people ask us. I read so many com uh, comments last night. I know you did, too. Mm -hmm, I did. Um, ask us, were we going to sell them on Amazon? Were they going to be in bookstores? 
For right now, you can only purchase them through Pinky Mall's website, PinkyMall'sKitchen.com. We do have the barcode and we do have the ISBN number on them. So they are, we do have the option to do that right. later. Right. right. We wanted to make sure that if we did decide to put them in bookstores and on Amazon, we wouldn't have to go back and redo it. Right. So, right. Um, and a little Linda worked on that, um, uh, the barcode and the ISBN right. number. Right, she did, she did. Um, I had I had some people ask me, told me they was going to Google it and, and order one, and I said the only place you can order it is through our website at the moment, at the moment. So she said she'd go in there and look. So we just... You know, we're new at this and never done anything like this before, but um, we, right now it's only our friends from our page uh, that watches our videos is, you know, and knows where to order them. That's yeah. the only place that we're going to sell them right now. So um, I'm going to read the introduction. Okay. If you want to okay. look through that and pick no, out something no, to read. No, it's, it's uh, not today. Not today. Today is 14 years ago. My husband passed away. Oh, so. Mary, I'm, <laughs> that's I just okay. Wasn't it's okay. About it that's okay. Um, that's okay. That's okay. But I just, uh, I just want to just do this today. Okay. Um, so I wrote the introduction. Um, it is with great honor that I have the opportunity to write this because I knew the author, my mama, Hazel Lee Kingston. <laughs> now I may not can do it either, Mary. <laughs> years ago. Mama began collecting pieces of history and recording events that happened during her childhood and beyond. Mama didn't get to finish high school, but was the smartest person I knew. And she was, she was very, very smart. smart. Yeah, Daddy very always smart. said that she was the smartest mm -hmm. lady yeah. that he'd ever met. Yeah. She was very girl. smart. Yeah. She didn't let nothing stop her. Anything no, she, she wanted didn't. to do, um, she found a way to do it. Yeah, she yeah, taught yeah. herself, yes. Yeah. Um, she taught herself to do anything she set out to do, whether it was sewing, building, she could do carpentry, she could. She was not afraid to tear down a wall, to hang a door, or anything in the house that she did it. Driving, uh, Daddy, our Daddy Cecil Pinkston used to say that she wasn't afraid of the devil. <laughs> And she wasn't. He said that a lot. I know. And she wasn't, but she was afraid of bad weather. <laughs> Mama was, she just was really afraid of bad and weather. And Linda took took after on that. I, I'm not. <laughs> In this book, you will read about history. Uh, let me cut that I'll timer cut it. off. I'll be Thank you, Mary. You will read about history, about how everyone lived during hard times and how they survived. Mama's faith and love of God, family and others is what kept her going in very difficult times. This book is a story about a young lady and a gentle man, as Mama called Daddy. <laughs> Who fell in love. No, Mary. <laughs> You're not supposed to always take, always have to pick me up when I can't handle it. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Uh, You're okay. Go ahead. It's about a gentle man, as Mama called Daddy, who, who fell in love, married, had a family, and how Mama survived a tragedy. You know, God God had his hand on Mama from a childhood. Mama went through a lot of difficult times during childhood. And um, and the Lord kept his hand on her. I mean, it, Mama had a lot of tragedy in her life, period. She I mean, she shouldn't even have lived when she was born, but she did. She had just one problem after other, even after this, after what happened to Daddy, the day that Daddy died. Um, um, she still was in car accidents. I mean, had surgery that she almost didn't make it through that. She had a lot of things. She, she had a lot. God just had his hand on her. And I'm going to get this last <laughs> sentence read if it kills me. Sorry. We hope that through the writings of this book, that whatever situation you're in, that you find hope through Mama's faith. 
I'll tell you, you will get faith through this because the things that she went through uh, will encourage you. You could be going through some of similar situations, and Mama's story will let you know that you can get through those times. And she uh, she talks about uh, church, how she's raised in church, and and when it, when Pentecost first came to East Texas, she told about a lot of things that went on, uh, how someone was persecuted, you know. Really, yeah. Really bad. And we're not going to tell the story, but anyway, it's it's a lot of uh, facts. Mother, some of the things that she went through, she went to the courthouse. That was back before they tore the the old courthouse down, back when it was the old one. And people in that area will know what I'm talking about. Um, she would went and researched um, to make sure that she put the right information about the dates and stuff. And she that. didn't just start writing. And my sweet sister, she <laughs> no matter how bad she feels, just like my mama, she's always the one trying to pick somebody else up. But um, everybody has a story. Yes. Everybody has yes. a story. We know we're not the only people that live through something like this. Um, but... You know, this is our story, and that's why it's so personal. Everybody, to us. everybody has a story. You know what, Brother Boatman asked me Sunday? He said, "When are you gonna write your book oh, about no. me?" I said, "Brother Boatman, I, you know, there's a, I could write a book because <laughs> I'm all front. <laughs> I could write a book, but that's okay. Uh, everybody could, everybody, because everybody has a story, but um." Um, I, if I ever sat down and wrote anything, it would be to my grandkids. And then, and then after I'm gone, if they want to do it, that's fine. But I, it did kind of trigger something in me, think that I do need to write some of the things. You do, you do, Mary. The life of a, a spouse with a PS, what do you call it? Postponed PTSD. Yeah, yeah. I could write a lot about things like that. And I, a lot of you out there can relate yeah. when you have a husband Absolutely. that has that, that come back from the war. So If I anyway. wrote one, mine would be like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's my problem. Is when I start writing, I don't know when to stop because I will, I'll tell it all. <laughs> but I, I'm not there yet. <laughs> so, so we hope that we really sincerely hope this has never been about making money. And I hope that no one thinks that it took us two years to get enough money to have this done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm telling you, we worked hard. I, I, one time in my life, and I know we're over an hour, but one time in my life, I saved receipts for a month. Have you ever done that? Yeah. Just so I would know yes. how much money how much I spent. I'm telling you, I've last year, I've done it. We, we, we cut corners every way we could yeah. and did not spend a lot of so extra for this anything so we could get this book out. And, and praise God, we got it through. So now, I was thinking, I was like, Linda, no, what do we do next? <laughs> what do we do next? Uh, Maybe we can improve our videos. Maybe we can concentrate more on that. I don't know. know. You know what I would love to do, but what? I don't know. What? Our, redo our kids' cookbook. Oh, that's right. I would that's love to right. do that. It wouldn't be as hard as this was. Well, no, because we already it's already written, yeah. but yeah. we would have to we yeah. would have to read kind of revise it uh, I, did, for anybody that's going to ask about this this book was this kids cookbook was never printed it was no, done for the kids we just we just wrote it out and took pictures all the the grandkids that is in this book it was all mama's grandkids mm -hmm. Is that's in this little kids' cookbook? We have pictures of them when they were kids, and they're all grown with children themselves now. Yeah, that would be that would be neat to have, to, yeah, to show the it. to do a, a comparison of when they were little when we actually put the cookbook uh, when we made it. I actually, bought, you did most of it. I I bought one little kid chef outfit. I didn't have enough money to buy one. To I around, remember so we, that. We swapped. Remember. We were in the Longview Park, Longview mm -hmm. Mall parking lot. And there was a circus there. Mm -hmm. We had tickets to take mm -hmm. the kids to the circus. And while we had them all there, we swapped their outfits their and took pictures. <laughs> and that's how we that's how we did it. Yeah. And um, uh, I've I've got. And then we sent it to, to, to the other kids. Did we, now didn't we buy two? Did we buy two of that? Outfits, because some of the other kids didn't they have the outfit? The, Maybe uh, I did buy two, Mary. Maybe I'm wrong. It's been a long time. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, the youngest one, she, um, Miranda, was um, three. She was three or four years old. She was pretty young. She's 23, so it's been a long time ago. Yeah. It's it's been over 20 years. So. Yeah. 
It has, and, and I would love to do that, but I don't know if we will if we will get to or not. Um, that, but that that, that, that we probably will. And it would be we something probably will. that that probably I will. think that our followers would love mm -hmm. for their kids, for their grandkids. I think that's a great idea. So that's our next project. <laughs> don't ask us when it's going to be out because it took us a year to get this out. But I think that'd be a great. A great thing for us to do, Linda. Is get that mom's out. kids. Yep, that would be good. So, well, thank y'all for hanging in here with us. We don't know if there were any questions because we we can't look at the right. questions and do what we're doing. And thank you, Mary, for always uh, being so kind to pick up where I leave off and for yes. all the hard work that you've done this week. Oh. Coming over here That's what day we... after day, sitting and waiting <laughs> for hours, literally hours. Um, but I still think it was all worth it. It was. It was worth it. I don't regret it a minute. Not a minute. Sure. So we love y'all. If you haven't got your copy, uh, we hope that you will tell your church about this book. This is a book that needs to be in church libraries. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't matter what church you go to. If you have a church library, this book should be in it because it is... It Very is something that will really um, help people that feel like there's no hope for them. Mama's story of love and hope. Yes. We love y'all. Count your blessings. Yes. We're certainly counting hours today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.